Well, hey, it is the 15th of June. Today was 80 degrees, and you are watching Your Coast, My Coast. And if there's time at the end of this video, you'll see how I messed up the intro. So, to do the challenge, finally, sorry, Sarah, I just forgot last time. Oh yes, I am filming this outside again, in the parking lot this time. I'm going to show you all the outside parts of my apartment building eventually because it's awkward to film when your roommate's sitting there reading. Anyway, the challenge. I think I'm going to be like Jen and also steal some of her answers, so finally I'm excited that Jen comes before me in the videos. I think my favorite video is the uh, Project for Awesome one. Partially because we were dressed as Harry Potter people, partially because we were Valley Girls and you were Harry Potter, Sarah. And uh, mostly because um, it was the only scripted thing we've ever done, and it actually worked. And it was last minute, so procrastinators unite tomorrow, later, probably. Anyway, so that one's my probably top favorite. I do love the intro of all of us on the bed at VidCon, though. That one's pretty sweet, and the outtakes are great from that one. I also really love the way that some of the challenge videos have turned out. Like the Thoughts from Places one turned out really well. And the most recent meme turned out really well I think like I think we all did very well on very well I think we all did pretty good on those videos and made them entertaining and good and recreated the memes very efficiently so I think those are my favorite videos the project for awesome and then the challenges yeah those are the good ones I mean they're all good ones quality gold gold material because we are just clearly movie stars and YouTube celebrities yes not a whole lot has happened this past week. Um, weekend, I read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, who is a friend of John Green. It's a super good book. It's not what I thought it would be. I thought it was like these peculiar children, like the boy who could be invisible and the boy who could be really strong and lift things, because it was set during like the 1940s and World War II and in Wales. Um, the country of Wales, not like inside of Wales, because that's different. I thought it was like that these peculiar children were like analogies for just children who had to hide from the Nazis. Like obviously the boy who became invisible was just a boy who was very good at hiding, the boy who was very strong, was able to like hold the door closed or something. But they were actually peculiar children and could do like X-Men type things, which was actually cool too. I really liked it. It was surprising and good. And the pictures in it were amazing. I love old photographs anyway. And this book, like, every three or four pages had old photographs, so it was super fun to look at. If you haven't read it yet, I recommend it. Super good. Uh, I did that most of the weekend. And then I watched movies. Oh, and last night, uh, I made the roommate, and by made, I mean, I had before told the roommate about the show Roswell, which Jenna's seen and I have seen and I love, and Sarah, you need to watch. And then last night, the room and I, roommate and I started watching Roswell. So I have corrupted someone else. Ah ha. I think I corrupted like 10 people in college to watch Roswell, and pretty much every roommate I've had since I left high school. So it is my goal in life to convert everyone to watching Roswell. Sarah, you're next. Other than that, work has been pretty normal. Um, don't have really plans this weekend, I don't think. So Jen, if you want to do something, we should do something or something. I have a futon now, so Jen or Sarah or whoever, when you come over, you can sleep on the futon and not cushions on the floor. Yeah, futons. Anyway. I think that's all for me. I hope you both have fantastic weekends, and I hope your weeks have been going good. And Sarah, I will see you on Friday, and Jen, I will see you Monday. Bye! Hey, it is the 15th of May. It is, I was going to say it's June 15th. Actually, it is, oh, wrong. 